Now, complete high school football coverage with John Apicello, Alyssa Ray, and Eric Johnson. This is WSLS First in 10. Sponsored by Magic City Auto Group, Schulz, Powers Tractor and Equipment, Spalding Equipment, and Hardee's. It's your first and 10 Florence edition. Scary stuff as this monster approaches the coast. So we wish everyone good luck and Godspeed as they evacuate or hunker down. That said, the game's obviously early this week, so we're going to get right to it. Our game of the week, the up and coming Martinsville Bulldogs taking on an undefeated William Byrd squad. Alyssa Ray was there, eh, Ray? Well, both William Byrd and Martinsville looked fantastic a week ago, but the Terriers quarterback Sam Dantzler went off to the tune of 231 yards, rushing and five touchdowns. The question tonight is, can the Bulldogs slow that power offense? To Martinsville, the Bulldogs coming out hot, but let's be honest, we're all here to see my main man, Lugnut. Terriers first possession, they're knocking on the door, and Hunter Metter barrels in from short. They're up 7 nothing. On William Byrd's second drive, Sam Dantzler on the keeper, and he's in the zone. Terriers extend that lead 14 nothing. They'll tack on more here. Nicholas Hale with the rock finds the hole. Touchdown, Bird. And this isn't dancing with the stars, but Dantzler is the star on defense as well. One of at least two interceptions he had in the first half alone as the Terriers stay unbeaten 41 to 6. And Appy, they never get as much love as the skilled position players, but you have to give it to Bird's offensive and defensive lines. They controlled the trenches and proved to be the difference here tonight. Appy. All right, one of the early other early season surprises, Northside undefeated through three games, including a flogging of last year's state runner up Heritage. Tonight, another step up with three time defending state class four champ Salem. There's coach Magenbauer. Salem coming off that tough loss to Dinwiddie. Game tied 7-7. Christian Fisher to the corner. He is in from four yards out, 14-7 Vikings. Now 21-13 Vikings. Jalen Jackson to Marquis Manns, who goes down low, keeps it alive, and makes the grab right there. 28-13 north side. Facing third and 15 from a six. Jackson going deep for Fisher, and he reels it in. 94 yards later, it's 35-13 north side. Now keep in mind, Jack Gladden, their Salem's quarterback, out with injury. Spartans trying to rally. Hunter Chaney play fake. Sean Collins, how about that circus catch to set up a touchdown? But it wouldn't be enough. 35-27 north side with a marquee victory. Hey, I learned our kids are resilient. They're not going to quit and they're not going to back down from anybody. We're ready to play some good football at Northside. Well, you know, it's the next step on the ladder. We're just real happy with the win. Uh, we'll go back to work just like everybody else will on Monday. Um, you know, we beat a very good football team. We know that, and uh, we'll take it in stride and move on. County at Lord Botetot, both teams 2-1. and one. Coach Harless's team getting healthy. James Ryan, Salvi Lobbin one up. Eventually, Evan Eller hauls it in 35-6. to six. Meantime, Hunter Rice, another big night. The gallop and go from 21 yards out. He had three touchdowns, including an 84-yarder. Later, it's Ethan Clower. Watch him here up close, setting and jetting from five yards out. His second touchdown of the night, and Botetot in total control. And I have to show you a 50-yard field goal. Trey Rice from 50 to end the half and break the Lord Botetot school record, unofficially, 50 yards. This one goes to Botetot, 66 to six. Congratulations to Allison McLennan and Abe Barkett. They are homecoming king and queen, or queen and king as it were. Rossburg, 54-13 over Alta Vista. Brookville, 35 to seven. The Bees continue to look tough. Meantime, Wednesday, a score we didn't get on last night, 46 to seven. Halifax County over Dan River. When your special Thursday night Florence edition of First and Ten returns, the Bruins have been rolling. Can the blue tornadoes come in and cause another weather issue when we come back?
All right, that's the Lord Botetot Band, and this is Giles at Narrows, the Battle of Giles County. Here we go, they're running the single wing, ball in the air, Colt Needham the catches the fumble in midair, rambles in, 7-0 Narrows in this, what is a heated rivalry. Giles, though, would stiffen defensively. Uh, we've got a punt here by Giles. Reed Bowman going to make the catch, start moving, and then watch out. Here comes Ty Lowry low and Gavin Burracker high. Giles would rally back for a 12-7 victory this evening. Scores for you, Pioneer. The Montcalm Craig County game has been reset for September 25 at 6.30. Meantime, the Chargers fall to Pendleton, and in a big matchup, James River outscores Covington. 39-28. Mountain Empire Chiswell by a touchdown. Chill Howie blanks George with. How about Auburn shutting out Eastmont and Galax with a shutout as well at Rural Retreat. Our top team in the 10 strong pole Blacksburg borrowing the turf in Christiansburg for a date with Richlands. Eric Johnson is here to explain why Blacksburg is just as explosive without Colbeck who's now at Virginia Tech. Eric? Yes, Blacksburg ready to give anybody in the state a go at this point. They have playmakers all over the field on both sides of the ball. Tonight they showed multiple reasons why they deserve to be number one in the area. Out to the highlights we go for this one. Played at Christiansburg, as we mentioned. Bruins defense going in like biscuits in the oven. First play of the game picked off by Logan Hudson. And one play later, look at Brian Mitchell. Takes the pass from the flat. 25 yards later, he cashes in for the touchdown. 7-0 Blacksburg lead. Later, they're up 14 to nothing when Grant Johnston rifles one over the top to Thomas Coffey, everybody's favorite cup of Joe, 43-yard touchdown. That was the first of three for Coffey. Bruins on a roll. Johnston threw for 460 yards tonight. Still the first half when Mitchell reverses his course, goes all the way to the end zone, 35-0 lead. But Richlands fought back with 17 unanswered points thanks to a stingy defense, Reese Moyer had two rushing touchdowns tonight, but Blacksburg stayed calm and secured a 49 to 17 victory to move to 4-0. This group right here, they, they've been through a lot. This is, you know, third year for a lot of these guys. They, um, and, and they're just very confident and relaxed. And, you know, we got a good offensive coordinator, good defensive coordinator. We came up with a good game plan. And, you know, there in the second half, we uh, kind of struggled a little bit, but our guys found a way to win. Blacksburg had more than 500 yards of offense tonight and forced two turnovers on defense. They know a big game looms next week with Salem. One of the seniors addressed that with the team afterwards, but they all quickly said, hey, we stay humble and we stay hungry. This is one of the mm -hmm. most, uh, mo one of the most, if not the most dangerous team in the land. Appy. All right, should be a great one next week. Finishing up in Roanoke, Franklin County, Hidden Valley have both played well enough to win ball games. Neither had a victory until tonight, so let's get you out. There's Coach Weaver and the Titans. Franklin County is in. Scoreless first quarter, the Eagles' J. Ron Smith. Look at him book. 78 yards later, it's 7-0 Franklin County. Later, first quarter, the Eagles' Alex Bowling emerges. And look at him go. 40 yards later, it's Franklin County in control, 14-0. Titans defense trying to hang tough. Steven Robertson, Luke Arner applying pressure. Aaron Moore gets the pick right there to try and turn the momentum for Hidden Valley. But this one was all Eagles. Jaron Smith again from 65 yards out, 41 7. Franklin County victorious. Christiansburg on the road while their field was being used by Blacksburg. They were losing to Abingdon 21. To nothing. Meantime, Tunstall over Chatham, 49 to 20. Nelson playing at George Mason, 5:30 tomorrow night. Check out Jeff Williamson's nationally recognized First and Ten website for all your high school football needs. 